Hi, it's Wendy at the Barrington Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make our flashlight pictures. I'm going to turn the camera down and in your kit you will be getting this plastic sleeve, whoops daisy, um, a piece of white paper, a piece of black construction paper, and a flashlight template. So to begin we are going to go ahead and slide our white paper into our plastic sleeve and then we can see what we're drawing. Push it all down in. Great. Now I'm going to turn my picture sideways and I'm going to draw an underwater scene. So underwater there might be some sand on the bottom, um, maybe even some more sand up here, but there'll be fish swimming everywhere. So I'm going to draw some fish, lots of big fish and little fish. This is going to be a school of fish. So I need a lot if it's going to be a school of fish, right? Get them a little fin on top. And what would an ocean scene be without a shark? So I'm going to be a great, great shark here. colors because this might be a great white shark so he's kind of white but we'll give him a couple good eyes here and some teeth right I mean I also need some seaweed when you're in the ocean you see seaweed floating and up at the beach the seaweed that so give some seaweed down here Long stringy kind of seaweed. <laughs> Here's a piece of coral. And coral has little holes and dots all in it. So I'll do that with my Sharpie. And this is a Sharpie, so it will um, not get smeared around. It will dry and be pretty good. I want a, a starfish, so let's do a starfish. And how about a crab? The crab has a round body with these pinchers. I don't know. Ooh. An extra legs. Here he is. I'm kind of, kind, kind of a crab. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a big fancy fish up here. I think it's an angel fish, is what they call it, with the long tails and long fins up on top and I think fish sometimes go glub 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 so we'll give them all eyes um, here's a little bit of seaweed up on top here maybe and it, oh we've how about some rocks because you know the ocean does have rocks on the bottom so we can do some kind of choppy looking rocks on our bottom here and how about a seashell there we go. How's that? All right, so I've drawn pretty much my fish. Um, I'm going to do a couple little bubbles more because I think those bubbles are cute. Um, bum, 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 bum. There we go. So now I'm going to take my crayons and color them in. So I do want to color my sea seaweed green. So it's surprising that even with crayons, it will color on top of this plastic sheet. It works pretty well. There we go. Some down here. Um, I think if I wanted to, I could do sand for the bottom of the ocean. So I have a brown here. I like to go back and forth real fast when I'm doing big areas because it just seems to color them in. I'm not perfect. Um, but, ooh, I need a bright crab. I'm going to use red for my red crab. There we go. There we are. And then, oh, I think we'll do some blue. It's not a dory, but it's a pretty angel fish. I'm going to put that blue. Oops. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll color in our blue fish. And a little bit of 
dark blue near the beginning, maybe. Oh, that doesn't show up too, too much. How about some purple on its fins? There we go. That looks a little bit. Different kind of colors. I can wipe that off there. All right, so for these little darlings up here, we're going to make these little fish orange. So you can color. What else is in the ocean? You could make an octopus or a squid or a big, huge blue whale. That would be pretty awesome. Um, I think for this shark, he's kind of be kind of blues too. But he has a white bottom because he's a great white shark. And then um, some yellow. I like my starfish. Can be yellow. My shell. I'll give a little bit of more orange down here in my coral. There we go. And then up, up here, it's a little darker brown for these rocks. Let's see if I can get more in here than what's on my. There we go. There we are. And then some rocks up here. So this isn't too, too bad. Um, might add a few more bubbles here and there in the ocean. Never know who has bubbles. <laughs> there we go. All right, so this now is ready. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this paper and color in our flashlight. Now, I did mine ahead of time just so that you could see how I colored in my flashlight handle. I colored the handle red with a button, and this is the top where the light's coming out. I left this top part blank, and then I cut it out. So you take this template and color in, and then cut off these two sides. And this is my flashlight. Now a place for the flashlight to go in would be here in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is open up here, then take my paper out. You can still see the picture pretty good right now. I'm going to open up my scissors. You might wanna ask a parent to do this, but I'm just gonna cut a little bit of a hole here at the bottom really close to the edge so you can't tell that there's a hole and this is about four inches long Oops, I don't know if you can see how long this little piece of plastic is just down at the bottom because that's where I'm going to put my flashlight in the end and put it down through there afterwards so now the picture is done the flashlights colored we need to take this piece of construction paper and it's too big for the envelope because these um, plastic envelopes are for eight and a half by 11 and this is a nine by 12. So I have to cut approximately a half inch off the side all the way up the whole length. So you'll need to do that. And approximately one inch off the end. There we go, because it was 12 inches long and we really only need 11 inches long. Now let's see if this will fit down in. Hopefully I cut it off skinny enough. Let's see, oh, there we go. And here we are. So this is a dark picture. It doesn't show up very well, but to shine a light on the deep, deep ocean, we're gonna put our flashlight in. Just let's do this and slide the handle at the bottom. And then we can shine a light to see what's in the ocean. Deep, deep, dark in the ocean floor. Shine our flashlight. See how great it makes it show up. Isn't that awesome? So I'm gonna show you another one that I made. Um, a little different. I did put an ocean on one side, but on the other side, I put a cave with bats. This one, I actually took the whole bottom off to fit my flashlight up and under, but you could do that too. And this is, I'm gonna shine a light in the cave. Can you see? Wow. And all this is is rocks on the side, colored brown. And I actually used a white crayon, or gray I think it was in here, but then the blacks, I drew those with a Sharpie. So you can do an underwater scene. This one has more pictures on it than my other one. Oh look, there's an octopus. You can do an underwater scene, or a cave scene, or any scene that you can think of as a dark place that you would like to shine a light. 
So that's our craft. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make great pictures and have fun with this. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.